Hello Cheapskaters, I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt free, cashed up and laughing. If you would like to join the live chat tonight, you need to be logged into your YouTube channel, that's what YouTube calls a, an account, or your Gmail account. If you don't have either of those, that's fine. You can still join the chat. It'll just be a bit delayed by leaving a comment in the comment section below me. Today is Tuesday, the 29th of June, 2021, and this is a YouTube premiere. Now, before we get started, please give us a thumbs up that thumb down there and if you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel please click the subscribe button and then the bell to be notified every time we go live or we upload a new video. So welcome folks. This is a premiere tonight because I'm actually away. I'm not at home. Right now hopefully I'm sitting by a campfire on the banks of a lovely lake enjoying the serenity with some really good friends. So there's no internet where we are, hence the premiere. Tonight I'd like to talk about budget fatigue. It happens to all of us at one time or another and I'm thinking that right now for most of us it's probably you know, starting to kick in. We've had a terrible 18 months. And along with everything else, budget fatigue, you know, it's just like the last straw to have to be worried about our budget. So, if you're fed up with just scraping by month to month or if carrying a balance on one or more of your credit cards all the time, you might have budget fatigue. If you have more red than black on your, on your budget, you might have budget fatigue. If you're convinced that there is no such thing as light at the end of the tunnel, you might have budget fatigue. You just want to give up and not worry about budgeting and making that money stretch. Being debt free seems almost impossible, like that goal is just never going to happen. That's what I call budget fatigue. But don't worry, you're not alone. And yes, over the years, I've experienced it too. There have been times when I've been tired of watching what we spend. I just wanted, I really just wanted to go and buy whatever I felt like without worrying about the money. If I wanted new shoes, I was going to buy them and hang the cost. If I wanted new clothes, I was going to buy them and hang the cost. If I wanted new furniture or even a new car, I wanted to be able to buy it and not worry about the cost. <sighs> well, trust me when I say that if you do do that, go and just spend on whatever you want and hang the cost, the euphoria you get, the high you get from spending, and let's face it, for most of us, spending does create that, that amazing feeling of bliss. It won't last that long. And then you've got to face the feeling of um, it, that, you know, when it ends you feel like Ugh, and it just isn't worth it. So instead of feeling blah, there are things you can do to beat the budget fatigue once and for all. And they're quite easy. I can do them, you can do them. First off, take your budget or your spending plan out and have a look at it. Are the budget categories in the red because you've just overspent or are they perhaps in the red because um, you've not really allocated enough to that category? Perhaps you've been just starting out setting up your spending plan. You're not sure how much things are going to cost. So you might have underestimated. Finding the reason for that red or that minus negative balance gives you the power to change it from red to black. It's very really simple. You have the power, guys. It's your budget, your money. You have the power. You control it. It does not control you. Another thing is how detailed is your budget? 
tracking your spending is a great thing. It really is. But if it's causing you headaches and getting you down, maybe it just needs to be simplified. You don't need to spend hours agonizing, agonizing over receipts. Um, you don't need to spend hours agonizing over the statements when they come in and the figures in your little notebook or on your phone or however you track it. 20 minutes once a week, checking your spending, entering the information into um, your budget should be more than enough time to, you know, especially for the average family budget, to keep it straight. You don't need to stress over it. If you're spending any longer than that, it starts to become a chore and that's really tiring and it just gets overwhelming and depressing. We don't want that. that we see, we've got and laughing at the end of our motto, haven't we? Debt free, cashed up and laughing. We want to be happy. We want to be chilled. We want to be relaxed. So don't stress over it. Simplify it if it's too complicated. Now, we're almost to the end of the financial year. So July is a great time to review your budget, your spending plan, and make any adjustments that you need to. Um, your income taxes has been done or is close to being done. Any family payments that you might get will be adjusted and bonuses or, God forbid, debt notices issued. The best case scenario is you have some spare money on hand. Spare money, how cool is that? So if necessary, use that spare money to balance the budget and get you back on track. You know, I always say budgets are fluid things. They're not set in cement, so you are able to adjust them. They are meant to be adjusted as circumstances change. So while I'll always recommend applying any extra money to debt and then to savings, if your budget is getting you down, don't hesitate to use any extra cash that you have to even it out. Then you can just take the leftovers and put those to your debt and your savings. Easy. Don't stress about it. Don't let it overwhelm you. Now another reason for budget fatigue is neglect. I touched on that just briefly a moment ago. You create a beautiful budget, you cover every possible expense, you've got lots of lovely categories and gorgeous columns that balance at the end of each month. But you're still you know, stressed about it. Mad money. Mad money is just that, money you can go mad with. Is it a part of your budget? Look, even if it's just $5 a week, Having money that is your very own, that you can spend on whatever you want, whenever you want, wherever you want, is really important. You don't have to account for it to anyone but yourself. It's really, really vital for being budget fatigue. Now, we have, we have mad money. Wayne and I have mad money. And it's just ours. Now, mine, <laughs> mine built up last year simply because I wasn't going out. Um, I wasn't shopping. Um, I wasn't doing very much at all, actually, in terms of needing money just for me. So it built up to a nice amount. And I did splurge on some craft items at the end of last year. And again, just a couple of weeks ago, it was just sitting there building up, building up, building up. So I really saw these things. I really liked them. I had my money to spend, so I did. And I didn't feel guilty of buying those things. It was my money. That money was mine to spend as I wanted on what I wanted. So, you know... I didn't have to account to it. I didn't have to worry that I was cutting the household short. I wasn't taking food out of my baby's mouth or, you know, whatever. It was mine. Mad money is important. If you don't have it in your budget, 
you need to get it in there tonight because budgets aren't set in cement. They're meant to be fluid. A good budget changes often and it changes to suit the economic climate it was written for and it changes to suit your circumstances because our circumstances change. Trust me, I know. We went from two incomes to no income in the space of 24 hours, well, not even 24 hours, about 18 hours. That was a big change. It happens. Now, if you have an increase in income or an increase in expenses, and that happens too, it means your budget it will have to change again. So it needs to be fluid. If you can recognise and accept that this will um, happen, then it'll help you to conquer budget fatigue. You'll stay positive. You'll always be on top of it. I know that, you know, the pretty budgets with lots of spreadsheets and columns and the different bank accounts and the pretty colours and stickers and whatever might look good. But they are really overwhelming. They just get so complicated that you spend more time prettying it up than you do actually using it. So if this is a reason for your budget fatigue, simplify it. Look, there are some really basic, and I mean basic, budget templates on the Tools and Guide page of our Cheap Scouts Club website. Log in and, and download the one that suits, suits you. There are, and I'm, when I say basic, I mean they're basic. Use it. Get on top of your budget fatigue. When you get over the fatigue, you can pretty it up. You can make it more detailed. But do it slowly so it's not overwhelming. Yeah, remember baby steps. We teach a baby has to crawl before it walks and walks before it runs, runs before it climbs. Well, that's what we're doing in our budget. You want to get over budget fatigue, do it slowly, step by step. The best advice I can give you for beating budget fatigue is this. Budget is meant as a guide for spending and saving. That's why we usually call them spending plans. You control the budget. It does not control you. It's your money to work for you. You don't work for the money. Well, you know, in terms of, it's yours to do with, do with as you will. So, you know, if you're feeling tired about your budget, you're feeling a bit down about it, you're feeling a bit stressed, don't. Don't be. Simplify it. Get back to basics. Go right back to basics if you have to. It works. Now, I know this has been a really short show tonight, um, simply because I'm away. I don't know if I'll even be in the chat tonight, but I wanted to do a premiere so that you could all chat together if you wanted to. I know that some of you like to catch up each week and I'm happy to provide the um, platform for you to do that. <laughs> so um, feel free to chat away for a little while. But yeah, don't let budget fatigue beat you. If you're getting tired and worried about your budget, don't worry about it. Go back to basics, simplify it, Take you take control back and start the new financial year off in a good way with a positive attitude. Okay, thank you for joining me tonight. If you liked our show, please, if you haven't already, give us a thumbs up. It really helps us in our YouTube rankings. And if you know someone who might like this show or who might benefit from knowing about the Cheap Skates Club, please use the share button to send them the link. We don't spam them. We don't hound people. You'll send them the link. If, if they're interested, they'll click on it. It's entirely up to them. That's all I can say. I don't like spam, so I won't do it. Have a great week, everyone. Happy cheap skating. And here's hoping the weather holds for the rest of our trip. Now, I should be... Hmm, 
hopefully back next week. Who knows what's going to happen. Remember our Christmas in July starts soon. Only two days away and then we'll have Christmas in July so that we can get control of that too. Have a great week everyone and thank you for joining me tonight. Bye.